Good morning. Brown Bear and I are here during witness season to talk to you about some special countries and special places that our missionaries go and work. Last week, we talked about Madagascar. Remember, way down here off the coast of Africa. And this week, um, we're going to talk about Arab countries. And the Arab countries are in North Africa and then all across this way as well. There are 25 different Arabic countries. I want to show you something. This is a children's Bible that we have in our library here at South Highland. Um, it is written in English, which is the official language of the United States. If you look, this Bible opens this way and you read from left to right. And we go through like this. Then the Arabic Bible is a little bit different. Actually, it's a lot different. This is a children's book that is in Arabic of the Bible, a children's Bible. And you hold the book this way. So the spine is here and you open the book from the right to the left. And you go this way. And if you look closely at the words, they're not using the English alphabet that we know. It's written with the Arabic alphabet. In the English alphabet, there are 26 letters. In the Arabic alphabet, there are 28, and these are their letters. They look very different than what we're used to, don't they? I have some, a couple of words that I have learned in Arabic. It's a little bit harder to, for me to remember these things, but the word nam means yes, la means no, and ma ismuk means what is your name? Ma ismuk, what is your name? If you were going to go to an Arabic country, that would probably be one of the first questions that you might ask someone. So remember, God has a heart for missions. Let us pray. Gracious God, thank you for our world that you have made for the different cultures and different people and different languages. Help us remember about all the different languages as we go out and share the good news. In Jesus' name, amen.